Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market update on Tuesday, uh, September 7th, the day after Labor Day. So, um, things haven't changed much. s and is continuing to make new highs. Market internals are trying to keep pace, uh, doing a little better, but you know, still not really uh, at new highs like the index is. So the S&P 500 has uh, tested support at 4370. That was a couple of weeks ago. And we've moved so much higher since then that that's pretty much in the rear view mirror. The problem is there's no other tested support area between where we are right now and that level. And that's what's happened a couple of times in, uh, once in um, mid-July and another time there in August. But we had one pretty nasty week where it pulled back and then tested the support level. Uh, so right now, perhaps there's some support around 4460, which was the lows of a couple of weeks ago. But um, still, the only tested support area is 4370. Uh, that would be a pretty p sharp pullback if we pulled all the way back to there. But regardless, uh, the S&P chart is positive as it's making new highs and its moving averages are trending higher. So um, that's being that being the most important indicator indicates that we <laughs> need to maintain a core bullish position, uh, although we can trade around that, of course. As far as uh, put call ratios go, the uh, standard ratio is definitely on a buy signal now. Uh, the weighted ratio still has trouble confirming that, though it's uh, been wavering slightly lower, but mostly sideways, and the computer analysis programs are still not giving that the all clear as a buy signal. Uh, meanwhile, um, breadth has improved quite a bit. And we did have some breadth um, indicators that were um, you know, moving into slightly overbought and positive territory. So we have uh, both breadth oscillators are on buy signals right now, but they're struggling to maintain those. Uh, Friday, the market was down a little bit because of the jobs report and right away brought the weekend again. So it's not like it's roaring ahead uh, with the S&P 500, but it's, it's trying to keep pace. Meanwhile, uh, in a related um, manner, the Russell 2000 index, IWM, has been doing quite a bit better lately because of the improvement in breadth. The cumulative breadth indicators had one day in which cumulative volume breadth uh, made a new high, and that's significant uh, in that it could indicate that we're no longer in this negative divergence period. But Friday, it didn't make a new high again, and now, um, you know, the regular breadth, uh, cumulative breadth, based on issues, not volume, uh, cumulative breadth has still not made a new all-time high yet. So the negative divergence is still potentially there. And while that's not a sell signal in uh, itself, it still is an indication that you need to be alert and certainly pay attention to your stops. Um, the volatility indices have been doing much, uh, much better. I would say they are bullish along with the S&P uh, and have been for quite a while. So the VIX spike peak buy signal is still in place. The trend of VIX is lower. The construct of volatility uh, futures is uh, positive. So all of those things are bullish for stocks. Uh, also, new highs, uh, uh, new 52-week highs are staying well ahead of new 52-week lows. So that indicator is positive as well. So while we have a few sort of nagging negative things around, uh, there's still a, a McMillan volatility band sell signal in place. They realize volatility of the S&P 500 is quite low uh, at 8%. So that's uh, a, a precursor to a, an eventual sell signal. And uh, the weighted put cover ratio has not really uh, gotten in, in gear with a buy signal. And, of course, breadth is still struggling. So those, those are minor, though, compared to the other things that we've seen that are positive. So right now we're maintaining a core long position. And we will trade any sell signals that come along uh, versus that position. Uh, I invite you to visit our website, take a look at our newsletters where we follow these things um, daily.